I'm on the phone with Jim on one of our regular check-ins. Like, Jim, it just, nothing's happening. Hey, Jim. Uh, it's going well. We had uh, some serious bouts of wind. But other than that, things are fairly well set up here. We've got some continuous time lapse going. It's starting, Adam, I think. Adam, it's starting. Oh, wait, Jim, Jim. Jim, this is the, the big piece of starting the cab. Let me call you back. Call back. Okay, bye. Yeah, in that V section right there. Holy shit, look at that big bird rolling. All four are running, right? Yeah. Look at that. You see how, look at the whole thing. is 300, sometimes 400 feet tall. Pieces of ice were shooting up out of the ocean 600 feet and then falling. The only way that you can really try to put it into scale with human reference is if you imagine Manhattan. And all of a sudden, all of those buildings just start to rumble and quake and peel off and just fall over and fall over and roll around. This whole massive city just breaking apart in front of your eyes. We're just observers, these two little dots on the side of the mountain. And we watched and recorded the largest witness caving event ever caught on tape. So how big was this calving event that we just looked at? We'll resort to some illustrations again to give you a sense of scale. It's as if the entire lower tip of Manhattan broke off, except that the thickness, the height of it, is equivalent to buildings that are two and a half or three times higher than they are. It's a magical, miraculous, horrible, scary thing. I don't know that anybody's really seen the miracle and horror of that. It took 100 years for it to retreat eight miles from 1900 to 2000. From 2000 to 2010, it retreated nine miles. So in 10 years, it retreated more than it had in the previous 100. 